Hey there, Gemini. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot, and welcome to your love reading for January 2021. If you are new to this channel and feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice so that you can be notified of all future updates. And a big shout out and welcome back to my regular subscribers. Hope you all are doing well. Um, just a reminder, this is a love reading for how you feel about the person that's on your mind, about how they feel, and then the combined energy of you both. So it's three spreads, all right? If it resonates more on one side, you can flip it, not an issue. But please, guys, it's a general reading, meaning it's not going to resonate with all of you. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not force anything to fit. If it's not for you, it's not for you, all right? So let's get started here. Oh, before um, before I get into this, another reminder, yes, my website is coming. It will be open this week. Look in the community tab when I will put the announcement when my scheduler is back up for my private readings. Um, the reading uh, structure has changed. This channel is evolving, which is an awesome thing. Um, so I will probably be doing a short clip of what those packages are. Um, I'll probably come on live or sometime during this week so that you guys... Uh, can see what that is and I am going to be doing a giveaway too so stay tuned for that all right so let's get started calling in our guides our ancestors and our ascendant masters as what messages we have in love for Gemini and their person how is Gemini feeling about their person wow well that flew out <clears throat> how is their person feeling And what is the combined energy of them both, spirit, or Gemini, and their person? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Both of you are in the feels. Gemini, you may have walked away from this individual, okay? 72, or sorry, 72. 27 comes to a nine though, so you're like at the completion of something, but notice how her head is turned back as she's going towards her happiness, something that thinks is good. She's looking back, reevaluating. Why do I hear that you're reevaluating your feelings about an individual? Some of you, this person walked, if you didn't walk away, this person walked away from you, but it's almost like you knew that they would be looking back. Okay, but there is love here. You still have feelings for this individual. We'll see what comes out of that. But on their side, we have angel of love. This person has been evaluating their feelings or romantic feelings, but their heart chakra is now open, okay? I keep hearing Gemini. Um, they see now. They see the love now. This person might have been very confused about the connection, and they're reevaluating it now, but it's because they weren't whole and complete on their own. So they've been really, I feel like they've been like really reevaluating that and having an open heart. There's a lot of love here. There really is. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say though. What's on Gemini's side here? Here we go. <clears throat> Five of Wands reversed, death or rebirth, which is, you know, death. Oh yeah, three of swords on your side. On your person's side, we have the 10 of swords reversed, the lovers, the four of swords. On the combined energy, we have the three of wands, the king of cups reversed, and we have the ace of swords. There was definitely too many people involved in this, okay? This person had options and it brought a lot of conflict to the table. Could be dealing with a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But with it reverse, it's like in order, something had to end. Either this person walked towards someone else or you just ended it. Either way with death here, it's about a transformation that was needed to happen. An end of a cycle between the two of you that had to be cleared. Three of swords, heartache, pain. Maybe you were an option. 
but I feel a lot of pain. There, and the pain is because you still have love for this individual. I don't feel like I don't feel like you realize that this had to happen for some a cycle to come in here, but it's almost like you knew. Either you knew that this person was going to walk away for those of you that, that walked away, or you knew that maybe when you guys created space, if you walked away, that something needed to be, you know, you, you knew your worth or something. It's possible, Gemini, that with this individual, they were giving their attention somewhere else, and you were like, I don't want to be made an option. And as, as heartbreaking it was, you knew you had to walk away because you know your worth, and even though that you have feelings for this person, Others of them, they made that choice and it was heartbreaking. <clears throat> On your person's side, we have the Ten of Swords, which is, you know, air energy here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, how they feel for you with it reversed. They're not over the heartbreak. They're not over um, the betrayal. I feel like they feel like they cause betrayal on you. Okay? they. I keep hearing they left you and it's like I abandoned them. If, if you walked away, it's them realizing that they abandoned the situation. They didn't make you a priority, okay? But with the lovers, Gemini here, your own energy, they made a choice, a decision in love. And the decision is, is they want to go towards you. But with the four of swords, is they're still mending their heart. They might see you in this way too, Okay resting they haven't made a move yet they're evaluating it but they're realizing they're i hear i'm realizing my my true feelings now <clears throat> it's weird because on both and this is both of your energy with the three of ones this is waiting for something are you both marrying each other that you're waiting for something for the waters to be calmer to come towards or maybe just wanting or hoping that you guys can reconnect But with the King of Cups reverse, this is about, look how he looks like he's meditating. Again, I feel like somebody left a situation. Again, reevaluating it. The King of Cups is in charge of their emotions, hiding their emotions too, right? They might not give all their secrets out, but they have feelings. But with it reverse, it's stating me they may have not, you guys probably have not shared your true feelings with each other in some level. Somebody might have overshared, meaning they told them how they felt and another person's reevaluating it because they never shared. Could have been them. Gemini, they could have been a water sign here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But somebody moved away and someone is reevaluating the situation here because with the Ace of Swords underneath this, it's about coming clean and having communication. Okay? But somebody's stuck in their head and somebody feels that someone is not going to be at least you see how our nose is turned up not going to be open to it because it's like no we've been down that path before but this person's like well, what if we've been down the path and i open up to you right so this person has fear of coming uh um, coming towards you I do feel that you have a lot of love for this individual. You might have always known that they would come back, but I don't feel like you're focused on them. I think you're waiting for better things to come. You closed your heart to this individual because it's reversed and you know your worth and you want nothing but the truth of how they feel. Let's see what the after tarot says. I do not do reversals, Gemini, on the after tarot. I don't feel guided to do so, but let's get some clarity on the five of wands, the magician, and the three of swords on your side first. What is this about, spirit? Here we go. Five of wands clarified by the seven of cups. Yeah, options here. The lovers, are you kidding me? The lovers was just literally marrying each other <laughs> with the death rebirth here and the hangman. I feel like this person made you an option. It brought some conflict to the table here and there was confusion. They, they really could not open up to the situation of how they felt with you, but they wanted to have their cake and eat it too, Gemini. Okay, and it was becoming very evasive. It was coming almost like strangling you where you felt stuck with this person, right? 
there was something in here where that wasn't truthful, but it was like enticing, or they might have been enticed to look at other places here. But it's like, no, I don't, I don't want somebody like that. No. Okay. Or they just might have been enticed or attracted to somebody and walked away from you thinking that was what they felt was a romantic feelings, but really they're trying to escape their true feelings, which is for you. Take it as it fits for you. But with the death transformation and the lover's card here, this is a choice in love. I feel for you, you're choosing because it's about choice. You feel like this person made another choice in love. And if you <clears throat> walked away and saw that they had other choices, you made a choice to move on and end it, okay? But with the hangman here on the three of swords, you still feel stuck. I feel many of you feel are like hoping that this person comes back to some level because they want to feed you something of the feeling so you can be enlightened saying, okay, or it's like you want to know the feelings if they are with somebody new. It's like I just need to know something to feel final that it's definitely over for me so I can move on and don't feel stuck in this, okay? Because some of you are still hurt by the situation. And it's like if I could just be fed some kind of information, even if it's communication from them that they are officially really moving on, that I was not an option so I can move on in my life. But some of you, this is really spirit saying, you know, don't wait. Don't wait. You have the power to get out of that situation. You don't need that person to make up your mind on certain things or to end a heartbreak. <clears throat> Hearing closure, needing the closure that you wanted. All right, let's see what's on your person's side with the Ten of Swords reverse, the Lovers, and the Four of Swords. Here we go. Wow. Ten of Swords validated by the ten of swords <laughs> these cards couldn't even be clear if you want to try to eight of pentacles and the ten they're going through a hu your person is going through a huge transformation gemini huge they know they evolved involved evolved involved but they are evolving they involved other other people into this okay might have played victim a little bit but how they feel, the betrayal, the heart, like, I really feel like they feel they did this to you. And it's like trying to rest on this of like, how can I fix this situation, right? How can I tell them and get up so I can tell them the truth, the true, like open up about my, how I really feel, okay? Now this person with the eight of pentacles, <clears throat> they do want to work with you here because they're evaluating the three of pentacles. So it's about reevaluating re something as, as working together with, okay? Working together towards what? Stability. Stability comes in many forms, okay? But I also feel like this person is really, maybe might be really focused on work and to keep their head out of it. And it's like, okay, let me just work on my stability here. Let me work on something that's tangible here. And knowing that, that they, they, I just keep hearing they shouldn't have made you an option, right? Like meaning that you, they should have just picked you, right? And it's like they're reevaluating that and knowing the choice they should have made, but they're now just like looking at it and probably thinking about you a lot during work. I feel like this person is just burying themselves in work, trying to like not, you know, think too hard on it. <clears throat> but with the with the four of swords being clarified with the ten of wands, they're gonna have to drop this burden. They're gonna have to get the strength and confidence to take action here. Now notice that they're only holding one wand at this point. They're not feeling overburdened by their feelings. It's like, I need to take action and get up and express to this person, whether it's an apology or something to let this person move on. Because I feel this person feels responsible for not allowing you to feel like you can move on. And I feel like they recognize it. Personable person feels responsible when it's really no one's responsibility. Your responsibility for you is to move on. I mean, I'll be honest with you on that. But like spirit is saying that this is what how this person is feeling. So I need you to recognize that. It's how they're feeling. They feel responsible for it. <clears throat> What's this three of wands, this king of cups reverse, and this ace of swords on the overall energy for them both? Three of pentacles. Are you kidding me? The devil. And the King of Cups again. More dupe cards, guys. 
somebody definitely is reevaluating a situation might have moved on from you but it's like this is where the security was but they felt very overburdened or they might see you that you were overburdened with this but they're reevaluating it and it could be you too reevaluating a situation of wanting to work together okay but you know this if this person comes in it's gonna have to take actions right like it has to be a clear picture of them choosing you you're not gonna go by freaking words you're not you absolutely not. Even as many feelings as you have, it's like, no, I've grown, I've evolved. I hear I've evolved. So I'm working on myself on there and I know what my dreams and desires are, even though I may have feelings. Now with the King of Cups and the Devil energy, again, I don't read this as negativity, guys, with the Capricorn energy here. Notice how these two lovers are in their, like entangled with each other. I think there's a lot of obsession on both sides. I think you guys can't get each other off each other's minds. I think there's a lot of sexual tension here, okay? But it's like it's needing to express your feelings. Holy crap, I wouldn't even be surprised. It like, <laughs> just I'm bringing this out for some of you because they're, they're just saying it. But like, this could be something where you guys meet up and all of a sudden it's like this physical attraction. You got to get it out of your system and that's just the way it is, right? Careful of pregnancy here, guys. Pre warning you. And the King of Cups here with the Ace of Swords, if that's something, something you don't want. <laughs> but the King of Cups with the Ace of Swords here, this is a king who wants to pour their cup and their feelings out and express themselves now, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, Gemini. But they are afraid your, your, your back is turned to them, all right? They don't want you to be logically in your head, okay? They are now ready to express their feelings. They have an overfilling of joy and love to give, all right? It may be too late. This person is almost fearful to do so. Look at his face. I'm saying him because it's the king, but we got the king of cups twice here. So someone who wasn't open up to their feelings is now, because they went in within, is now ready to express their love. I want to know, I, I'm going to validate one more card here on this Ace of Swords because I do feel like this is your energy um, <clears throat> on this Ace of Swords of wanting the truth, nothing but the truth. What is your actions if this person comes towards you? We'll just go there. What are your actions if this person comes towards you with opening up and expressing their feelings? What is it going to, what's, what's going to happen here for Gemini if they open up and express their feelings? And one more. Well, we got the King of Wands here and the High Priestess. <laughs> wow. Wanting, like, you could, like I said, you could be dealing with a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But how you fear, this person you're very attracted to, okay? I feel though you're very intuitive. You knew this person was either going to come back or this was going to be revisited at one point in here. But here's the thing with the High Priestess. She doesn't need anybody she is balanced and she is the keeper of secrets so i don't feel like you're ready to express your feelings or take action on this person until you see actions taken by this individual that really showcase their feelings because this person has never done that okay they might have said i love you or something that is short and sweet and surface level but they've never expressed their love by taking actions and it's like you're not releasing all of your secrets out to this individual. You're now being a little bit reframed with them, but it's because you have an inner knowing, right? And the inner knowing might also be that this person might not take actions towards you and that you are gonna stay in this energy and just know that when it happens, it will either be divine timing or the divine will come in and bring a partnership that is that for you, right? That is right off the bat, takes actions and you just know. You just know because you're the high priestess energy. There's a lot of people I'm reading for, so you take the message that really resonates with you and feels good to you in either case. But it does feel like the level of not being very open to your feelings as much because I think you were the first person who expressed it to this person, Gemini. I do. So now it's like let this person take their turn and, and, and see and evaluate it and just know, know what your gut feeling is going to tell you. And you'll have to let me know what you guys decide. All right, guys, don't forget to comment below, like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next time. Take care.